Institutes and vendors. Four institutes A, B, C, and D had contract with four vendors W, X, Y, and Z during the 10 calendar years from 2010 to 19. The contracts were either multi year contracts running for several consecutive years or single year contracts. No institute had more than one contract with the same vendor. However, in a calendar year, an institute may have had contracts with multiple vendors and a vendor may have had contracts with multiple institutes. So, B could have been engaged with X and Y. W could have been engaged with B and D. Both are possible. It is known that over the decade, the institute each got into con two contracts with two of these vendors. And each vendor got into two contracts with two of these institutes. So, <coughs> A is linked to two of them, W and X or X and Y or Y and Z or W and Z. Likewise, X could be linked to B and C, B and D. Each of these paired with two of these. Each of these paired to kind of linked with two of those. Lovely, lovely. It's going to take us a while to wrap our head around this. Not one typical thing because some longer contracts, shorter contracts, one year, multi-year, several things are being talked of here. Following facts are also known about these contracts. Vendor Z had at least one contract in every year, 2010 to 2019, all 10 years. Vendor X had one or more contracts in every year up to 2015, but no contract in any year after that. So 2010 to 15, six years every year, but nothing beyond that. Vendor Y had contracts in 2010 and 19. W had contracts only in 2012. This is a lovely, very powerful constraint. Only in 2012. There were five contracts in 2012, important year. Two from W alone. Right? There were exactly four multi-year contracts. Institute B had a seven-year contract. D had a four-year contract. A and C had one three-year contract each. The other four contracts were single year contracts. So every institute, B has one seven year and one single year. D has one four year and one single year. A has a three year and a single year. C has a three year and a single year. Seven and one, four and one, three and one, three and one. Lovely. Institute C had one or more contracts in 2012, but did not have any contract in 2011. Lovely. Institutes B and D each had exactly one contract in 2012. Institute D did not have any contract in 2010. Obviously not going to be able to remember all of these. I'm going to put together some of the very basic. Maybe take the first three, draw a broad diagram and then take constraint by constraint and make it work for us. Fine. So I'm going to start with this. Vendor Z had at least one contract in every year. There's two contracts totally, at least one in every year. So something like this. Something like this. I'm not saying 2010, 11, 12, all the way till 19, it'll be 10 years. I'm just going to broadly fill it in. I don't have that much space. So 2010, 12, that's why I put the dot in. Maybe 11 here, 13 here, 14 here, 16, 18, something will be filled in. Right? So I'm just broadly putting in this. Vendor X had one or more contracts in every year up to 2015. So Vendor X had something like this, something like this. And so Z should have had a long contract because it has to cover 10 years. So A, C, D have three year, four year contracts. Only B has a seven year contract that has to be there right? with, with vendor Z. Right? Vendor Y had contracts in 2010 and 19. So Y should have had something like this and something like this. Some from 2010 onward, some till 2019. W had contracts only in 2012. This is easy. 2012, 2012. But there's a framework. We've got this put in. And so this should be a your seven year thing. We've already seen that. Or this, one of these two. You need to cover 10 years. We can't cover with three and four, four and three, none of that. So the seven year thing has to come here. The other one should be a three year or a four year thing. If it's a three year, there's no overlap. If it's a four year, there'll be a one year overlap. That's all right. We can have overlap. That's what we've been told. So that one inference we can make. These are, this is a three year or a four year contract. These are all could be longer or short ones, right? Some of them have to be single year ones because there are four single year ones. We have located two single year contracts, but there are four totally. So two more single year contracts have to come somewhere here. Lovely. Let's build ahead. And we put this broadly. We don't know where it ends. I'm not saying this ends with 2016. I'm not saying this starts with 2013. None of that. Just put some broad framework in and then we'll go dig deeper and deeper.
We had a contract with Z, that much we know for sure. So if it had been this, B would have taken from 2010 to 2016. This would be from 2010 to 16. If it had been this, should end with 2019, should have started with 2013. One of these two. Right? Lovely. 10 to 16 or 13 to 19. Let's look at this. B and D had exactly one contract in 2012. So B had a contract in 2012. So if it had started, if it had this one, you would have run from 13 to 19. So B should have run from 2010 to 16. And so squeezing in another 2012 for B somewhere else is tricky. Chances are it ran from 2010 to 16. This being 13 to 19 and one other uh, 2012 alone for B is a possibility. I'm not closing the door on that. We'll come to that. We'll revisit that. One of these being 2012 being B and the second half being B. That is another possibility. We have to keep that in mind. But I'm not shutting the door on that, but I'm starting by saying we should have run from 2010 to 16, the long one. Each had exactly one contract in 2012. In shoot D did not have any contract in 2010. B needed to have a B the seven-year-old contract. So B had to have Z. So B in Z 2010 to 16 is a possibility. If it had been from 13 to 19, and one of these two had been B, that's another possibility. We'll come to that later on. And so I'm going to fill with this and then see if that gets eliminated. If this gets eliminated, we'll come back to that. So B should have run from 2010 to 16. Lovely. So we made this inference. B is 7 year and 1 year. D 4 year and 1 year. C 3 year and 1 year. A 3 year and 1 year. So we know Institute C had one or more contracts in 2012, but did not have any contract in 2011. C is not here. That much we know. C, if it had included 2012 from here, it would have had 11 also. So not this. 2012, if it had had in X, it would have had to go up till 2015. So from 12 to 15 is a four-year window. So not this. It could not have been this. So one of these two is C. One of the contracts that W has is C. And that has to be 2012. And C does not have any 2011. So it could not have been this anyway. Not this, not this, not this. Cannot have, could not have been this. One of these two should be C. We'll hang on to that. We'll come back to that. And so we've got that part covered. If one of these two has to be C, that automatically means B here and C in the beginning couldn't have worked. And so 2010 to 16, if it had been 13 to 19 with B here, then C would have had to be there. That's not possible. And lovely because 2010, 11, 12, C could not have been there because C does not have 2011 in it. Straight away, that other stream has been eliminated. Lucky, we jumped onto this and then we matter of fact, leave a matter of fact, we eliminated the other one. So C had a contract with W, C second contract with either Z or Y. One of these two. Let's build on this. Institute D did not have any contract in 2010. D could have had a contract from X from 12 to 15. Or with W for 2012, either here or here, because D has a four year contract. So, I mean, either this four year contract from 12 to 15 or this 2012 alone. We are not able to dig deeper than that, but we know that D had a contract in 2012 and did not have any contract in 2010. So, either this or this. So, let's keep on. We'll keep that in mind. We'll find the other constraint and then come back to this. There are four single year contracts. It's a very interesting country. Four single year contracts. Definitely Z does not have a single year contract. That we know. Definitely X cannot have a single year contract because X runs for a six year period. It could be three plus three or three plus four. It cannot be something plus one because only one which runs for more than six. That is B. It's already been taken care of. So X does not have a single year contract. W has two. That means the other two should be Y. That means this is there only for 2010 and this is there only for 2019. Only 2010, only 2019. So both contracts of Y are single year contracts, one in first year, one in the last year. Lovely. So Y we have filled which years they are in, which leaves us with the four single year contracts have been taken care of. The two three year contracts and one four year contract to fill. And so it's going to be in the four year. These two could have been three years. 
or one of these is four years and the other and this are three year two three year contracts and one four year contract remain to be filled we'll have to keep that in mind right lovely now let's go to them there are five contracts in 2012 beautiful w's two come into the picture two of y do not come into the picture this one from z cannot come into the picture this is definitely included so for 2012 five contracts we've got two from w and one from z we need two more that is not coming from y it has to come from x or x has to run till 2012 x has to start from 2012 this has to be 2012 to 2015 this has to be 2010 to 2012 which means this is a three-year contract this is a four-year contract this is a three-year contract but that's what is remaining this four-year contract has to be from d because only d has a four-year contract so this comes from d that means d has one thing coming in 2012 this cannot be from d and so that means d 2012 to 15 here a or c one of these two comes here and then we need to fill the one year contract numbers and so let's build on this b has a one year contract this has to be with y one of these two b cannot be this either this or this is b that's the other inference we are making lovely let's fill this in so this should be d we've already done that this is a slash c this is c slash a even that inference we can make straight away because we know one crucial part about C. C does not have a contract in 2011. That means this is A and this is C. So we've got B one contract, C's one contract, A 2010 to 12, D 2010 to 15. These two need to be filled. This is C, this we need to fill. Lovely, so far so good. Let's build on this. So C did not have a contract in 2011. So that should be C. This is A. D did not have a contract in 2010. So the 2010 one year contract, this could not have been D or this is D. This is B. Because B has to have got a, had a contract with Y. This is D. This is B. That means the remaining 2012 one year contract should have been A. That is C. This is A. Why this is not C? Because C did not have a contract in 2011. Why this is not B? Because B had only one contract in 2012. That's already accounted for. Right? Why this is not D? Same reason. This is 2012 to 15. That is there. D did not have a contract in 2010. So this is not D. That is D. If that is D, remaining is B. So we pretty much resolved the whole thing. We know exactly which years the contracts were in. And we know exactly who has signed it. So we mapped X, Y, Z, W to A, B, C, D and map the years also on top of that. Right? Nice tricky set, not easy. It took me a while to solve it, especially because the language is vague. There's one year contract, multiple contracts, subsequent consecutive years, I made a couple of mistakes. So it took me on a nice round trip. Right? So it's not tough, but many variables to keep in mind. Right? Lovely. Now let's jump to the question. In which of the following years were there are two or more contracts? 2017. Only one. There's no overlap between these two. 18, only one. 16, only one. 15, this and this two. Done. Contract uh, with Z and B. Contract with D and X. Which of the following is true? B had a contract with Y in 2019. No, that was D. D had a contract with X in 2011. With X, no, from 2012 to 15. This is not true. This is not true. B had a contract with Z in 2017. No, that is C. D had a contract with Y in 2019. Yeah, this works. This is the one we're talking about. Lovely. Next one. In how many years during this period was there only one contract? Not 2010. That's ruled out. Not 2011. 2010, 11, 12, all three are there. 13, 14, 15, this and this are there. So till 2015, we can rule out 2016. Yeah, that works. 2016, only B was there. 2017, only C. That also works. 2018, only C. That also works. 2019, there are two again, C and D. 
So three years choice here. What best can be concluded about the number of contracts in 2010? 2010, there is Z and along uh, Z and B, X and A, Y and B. How many contracts were there? Exactly three. Not at least three. Exactly three. We know the exact number. Why should we say at least three? Which institute had multiple contracts during the same year? Multiple contracts during the same year. B had, definitely. A had. D did not have. C did not have. B and A. B and A only. A and B only. Done. Which institutes and vendors had more than one contract in any year? Which institutes and vendors? We've already done this. Institutes. B has an 2010 a has in 2012 so a and b are in we need to think about w x y z z does not have any overlap 2010 to 16 17 to 19 x 12 to 15 10 to 12 x has to be in y there's no overlap w is definitely in because w had only two contracts but both were in 2012 we're looking for a choice that says a b x w not this, no D, A, B, W, and X, this terminal. Hush.